It's the grand finals of the Bologna special event! And what a final it is going to be. Here is the Rillaboom paired up with the Calyrex Shadow Rider. And there is that Maridon with the Whimsicott. Such a classic Lee coming out from both of these trainers. You've got the Fake Out and Nasty Plot available for Ruben's side of the field. You've got the Tailwind and just go for absolutely massive damage from this Maridon. But of course, it's Rillaboom led against Maridon once again. Maridon is so often led to go for something so strong like a Choice Specs Vault Switch. But then the Rillaboom overwrites that terrain immediately here. This is something that Luca has proven themselves to be very comfortable doing, leading that Maridon despite the presence of the Rillaboom in the opponent's party. And yet it didn't stop them reaching these grand finals here. Light Screen will be coming out from the Whimsicott, bulking out the Pokemon on Luca's side in the face of this incoming Astral Barrage, raining down on the Whimsicott and the Maridon. And the critical oh, hit wow. onto the Whimsicott. What a turn one here in Bologna. Yeah, that was never going to KO a Whimsicott through the Light Screen, but that's all so not only a KO, that's a Grim Nade boost on the very first turn, but here is that Electro Drift, not powered up by the Hadron Engine. Still Ooh. absolutely massive damage into that Calyrex, but of course, it's holding that Citrus Berry. It's going to recover right back above half. This is an item that has been favored on Shadow Rider Calyrexes all the weekend. A Grass-type Pokemon, that base Calyrex, loving snacking on that berry. Speaking of Grass-types, that's going to be Rillaboom getting on out of there, providing the drums at a later point in the battle. And in the back for Ruben, we're going to have the reveal of one of those two current Pokeballs on screen, taking their time to decide. Ruben seems not to be able to work out which is the best, but committing to Clefairy right now. Yeah, committing to Clefairy so it could keep that Calyrex safe. It's got a boost. It didn't go for a Nasty Plot. It got that KO through the light screen. That took care of the Whims car. It got the boost, but it also got rid of the Tailwind that could have come out because it went for the light screen. Obviously, it makes perfect sense in the face of a Calyrex Shadow Rider to get that light screen. But yeah, here's the Chiyu. Also a great Pokemon to bring out against the opposing Calyrex. You threaten down with your dark type moves, but of course we've seen so often the Shadow Rider loves to go for the Terra Fairy to be able to resist those dark type attacks that could come out. Of course, the grassy terrain is still on the field, so you're not going to be doing as much with your Electro Drift that has been locked into with his Choice Specs, but that's where the Chi Yu comes into play, because then you get the Beats of Ruin being able to boost up that damage output even more. That might allow this Electro Drift to potentially KO the Clefairy if it went on the offense, but no, wanting to preserve that Maridon preserve that Hadron engine for the future. That's going to be acting against Luca's own side, though, of course, as well, dropping the special defense of its partner. Everything except the Chiyu. Let's get sparkly, trainers. Time for a terrestrialization into this Shadow Rider Calyrex onto Ruben's side of the field. The Fairy Terror, the hand perhaps a little bit forced there with the Chiyu coming onto the field, threatening that big dark type damage. And now follow me coming out from the Clefairy, doing what it does so well, loving the limelight, loving the attention. It's not going to love an incoming heat wave. Connected down onto both these Pokemon, of course, ignoring the follow me. Being a spread type move, going to be the burn onto the Calyrex. That's going to keep whittling away at the HP there. Uh, but when that grassy terrain is on the field, we'll be restoring the HP. Draining Kiss, super effective, into the Iron Hands, brings it down to roughly 50 HP. That's very impressive from the Iron Hands there. That was a terror boosted Draining Kiss at plus one with Beads of Ruin helping it out as well. And it didn't even do half damage to that Iron Hands. A really nice switch in there. And the Heat Wave just bypassing that follow me completely. Of course, there is that burn that's going to chip away at the Calyrex and Calyrex cancel out the grassy terrain recovery, but that doesn't matter in the face of so much recovery from the Draining Kiss. Iron Hands has such a high base HP. That was massive recovery. That's easily putting it out of range of any other heat waves that this Chiyu wants to go for on this turn. Iron Hands carrying that Assault Vest is just paying dividends to its special defense here as well. Now, you do have the Maridon lurking in the back. You've made the Calyrex vulnerable to a fake out that the Iron Hands could dish out. Luca took the early disadvantage in this game, doing everything in their power to prevent that from flipping the tables on them. Yeah, absolutely. I think the light screen coming into play here very nicely, allowing the Iron Hands to shrug off that uh, attack again that could be potentially coming out. The Draining Kiss doing so much damage, but not quite enough for a two-hit knockout. It absolutely would be if it targets this Maridon that has just switched in for the Chi Yu, so not going for that Heat Wave to try and bypass any of the Follow Me's. There's that Hadron Engine once again, and there's the Quark Drive to increase the damage output of this Iron Hands. And speaking of increasing damage output, there is a Helping Hand. Helping out from Clefairy into the Calyrex, but Fake Out is going to target down that no longer
stronger ghost type Pokemon, meaning it's not going to be doing anything this turn, and the burn is going to start to whittle away now as the grassy train no longer on the field. But you do have the Rillaboom waiting in the back, ready to come back and take a stroll in the park. Yeah, that's always the awkward thing when you're using Maridon. If there is that Rillaboom waiting in the back, it can switch in at any point and really, really reduce the damage output that you have available on the Maridon. Yes, the choice spec still hits pretty hard, and it's going to be close if that would be enough to pick up the knockout on that Cataract, but it definitely won't be if it's just immediately switching out. Yeah, a hard switch here, no Volt switch right now. Chi Yu returning to the field. You've got the light screen up, but you've got the Beads of Ruin. The damage calculations are all over the place here, and it's something these trainers really need to be on top of. Coming to a responding Terra now from Luca, going into the Iron Hands with that Quark Drive boost to its attack as well. This Iron Hands is hitting hard, getting that Flower Pot on its head, changing up the type matchups, becoming that Terra Grass. Clefairy, once again, going for that Follow Me, redirecting any non-spread type attacks. Astral Barrage, same thing cannot be said for that. Toting down into both the Iron Hands and the Chiu. How much damage is it going to do? Both of them going to hang on. Yeah, both of them going to hang on here. That allows this Iron Hands to heavy slam Ooh. and get the knockout on that opposing Clefairy. So that takes care of the frame guard. That means you can do the regular amount of damage to that opposing Calyrex. There's no more redirection available. Uh, you can just go for a Heat Wave. Potentially, that would be so close if that's able to pick up the knockout on that Calyrex. But then, of course, the Rillaboom is still waiting in the back. The Electric Terrain is there, and apparently there's the other Fake Out Pokemon waiting in the back, so you don't have to switch in your Rillaboom in the face of the Maridon waiting in the back too. Mean Shao is able to Fake Out just as well as Rillaboom could. Yeah, saying I will if you will with both the Maridon and the Rillaboom waiting in the wings to come in and reset that terrain. Mean Shao buying a little bit of time here. Very frail Pokemon. That's why it's carrying the Focus Sash. It's going to be able to survive on one HP as long as it's not double targeted into. Calyrex going to keep himself safe. Really wise in the face of an overheat coming out. Always risky. Clicking that move. Not 100% accurate. And now Mian Chao able to respond with a close combat. Super Vets wins. Chiyu picks up the knockout. Yeah, and that should seal the game here for Ruben. The Calyrex will be able to outspeed both the Maridon and the Iron Hands. A very smart protect there. That overheat would have absolutely KO'd that Calyrex Shadow Rider very easily. Yes, a Drain Punch now goes into the Mean Shao. It takes it down to its Focus Sash because it dropped its defenses from that close combat. But this should just be either a Draining Kiss or an Astral Barrage. Either should be fine to be able to clean this game for Ruben. Yeah, terrain advantage very squarely in Ruben's court now. He can just switch in the Rillaboom at any point. There's no more switching potential over on Luca's side of the field as the light screen wears off to boot because Luca down to their final two Pokemon. It's just going to be this Iron Hands and the Maridon locked onto the field right now. Ruben very much with the advantage. The health bar's depleted on both sides, but it seems like that early critical hit on the Whimsicott really has come back to bite Luca, deciding to forfeit this game one. Yeah, that was a very, very unfortunate critical hit through the light screen there. That allowed no tailwind. Luca has to win this to keep their tournament life on the line. It's game two in the grand finals. Rillaboom and Calyrex Shadow Rider hitting the field alongside once more the Whimsicott and the Maridon. So a repeat of game one here. Uh, but Luca is very much hoping not a repeat of that disastrous turn one, that critical hit through the light screen. I wouldn't be surprised if we just see that light screen once again. Yes, we've all also got that interaction of the Hadron engine, and then there's the Grassy Surge, so the Maridon is not doing as much damage as it could. We've seen that multiple times that a lot of trainers want to lead the Rillaboom in the face of that Maridon. But yeah, the light screen, it's really impactful here. So long as there's no critical hits through it, then the Maridon will be able to shrug it off. The Whimsicott will survive and be able to tailwind in the future. It'll be able to encore a potential nasty plot. It could encore a potential fake out as well. So yeah, the light screen going to be hopefully really impactful here for Luca if he does choose to go for it again. You can see Luca hovering over that light screen. Is the same thing going to happen again? Well, let's hope not. Fingers crossed as light screen set up by this Whimsicott Maridon. Not going to act this turn. Here it comes. Astral Barrage from the Calyrex into Maridon on Whimsicott. Taking that much better than game one. Luca wiping a bead of sweat from their brow. Yeah, you can see how impactful that light screen could be. Yeah. But it just wasn't in that game one. The critical hit just, just taking care of the Whimsicott so quickly here. And now the Rillaboom's gone for fake out. You threaten Encore into that Rillaboom. You threaten Tailwind so that your Rim Ride on is definitely going to be able to outspeed that opposing Calyrex as well. Uh, maybe a Moonblast and a Choice Specs Electro Drift might be enough to be able to pick up the knockout on the Calyrex as well because you'll be able to shrug off another Astral Barrage if the Calyrex chooses to go for that. Um, the, because the Rillaboom is surely got to be scared of the Encore. It could potentially switch out into one of the other supporting members, whether that's the Mean Shout or the Clefairy, but there's definitely not going to be an Encore on this turn because that Whimsicott has switched straight into the GU. That Rillaboom is not going to be doing a repeat of its drum solo. The Encore has been removed from the audience. Chiyu switching in, dropping the special defense of everything around it. Rillaboom keeping itself safe so that the grass can sprout on the field once more. Clefairy coming
coming in, providing an immediate friend guard boost to this, this Kali Rex, which is having a light bulb moment, going for that nasty plot. Volt Switch coming out from a ride on into the Kaferi. Wow. Huge damage, no critical hit to speak of there, even without the terrain. With the terrain, you've got to expect that that would be a one-hit knockout. Yeah, that was a very, very clutch for that Kaferi. You still got friend guard active now. Uh, but yeah, in comes the Iron Hands from that Volt Switch. You could very easily go for a fake out into the Kaferi, and then any kind of dark damage into that Calyrex if it doesn't terrestrialize. But of course, it so loves to go for that Terra Fairy. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing a lock into any kind of fire move that the Chi wants to go for, whether that's going to be the Heat Wave or whether it's going to be the Overheat as well. You can take care of the Clefairy pretty easily if you go for the Heat Wave while getting some really good damage on that opposing Calyrex if you want to go for that. I wouldn't, I, Dark Pulse would probably be too risky here, especially because mm. you've got the Clefairy there that would be able to redirect if it survives the turn. And the fact that you can get the Terra Fairy on the Calyrex, it's surely got to be a five move coming out from this Chi Yu. Is the Heat Wave going to connect if that's what Luca locks into? That is a coin toss that you're going to have to make. And have they called a Terra onto Ruben's Cali right here? Well, going to be Terrestrialization coming out for this Iron Hands, becoming a Grass type. It's switching up its defenses here, and it's taking a walk on the grassier side of life. Terra Grass Iron Hands is going to face down a protecting Cali Rex here, just going to scout out for this turn. Meanwhile, all eyes now on the Chi Yu off this Clefairy goes for the Protect. So, going to be no damage coming out onto Ruben's side of the field. Heat Wave, of course, was the move that was locked into. Now, crucial information for Ruben, you've baited out a Terra from Luca. Yeah, that was a really good double Protect there from Ruben, doing multiple things there. Yes, you saw what the Terra, uh, the Terra's been committed now into the Iron Hands. You saw what the Chi Yu has locked into with, with, and it's going to be the Heat Wave. You've stalled an extra turn of Light Screen as well. So, that double Protect actually going to be quite impactful here because it, it achieves multiple things. And now that you know that the Chi Yu is locked into Heat Wave, it will be able to KO the Clefairy this turn. If you switch into Rillaboom or Mean Shell, they are not switch to a Heat Wave because Rillaboom will be uh, taking super effective damage. Mean Shell is so frail. So, yeah, Clefairy just going to stay in here, just help out the uh, the Calyrex Shadow Rider instead. Here we go, Helping Hand boosting up the Shadow Calyrex as Heat Wave will take out that Clefairy. The Helping Hand effect will still be there for this Calyrex. And now it's time to go for the Astral Barrage. Not very effective into the Chi Yu, neutral into the Iron Hands. How much damage is it going to do it's going to bring them down to just below half health responding with the heavy slam from the iron hands not enough to pick up the knockout no terror to speak of coming out from the calyrex able to have its citrus berry yeah that could have been a potential wild charge into that calyrex that should have done a bit more damage than the heavy slam would have done oh but that would have been really close if that was enough to pick up the knockout and now the calyrex is back above half it was able to get its citrus berry recovery it was getting the grassy terrain recovery as well and now it's actually might be out of range of the heat wave yes the friend guard is gone but here's the mean shout you can go for a fake out into the Chi Yu and then the Astral Barrage. You can go for a wide guard on the Heat Wave. You've got multiple options that the Mean Shell could go for. In the previous game, we saw Calyrex go for Protect and then Mean Shell close combat KOs the Chi Yu. That would be a viable play as well. Uh, assumably, you want the Grim Nae boost to be able to stack up because with a helping hand. Oh, that's going to be so close that the Astral Barrage would be able to KO the Iron Hands and the Chi Yu. The Terrestrialization still in Ruben's back pocket here. It's been burnt over on Luca's side right now. Me and Chow here, of course, the Chi Yu no longer has a Terra option available. It's going to be that Terra Ground anyway, rather than Terra Ghost, so it would still be doing decent damage. Heat oh, Wave is no going to come out. out. It's going oh. to be dodged by the Calyrex here. And, and the, the Mean Chow. It's a double dodge. Oh my goodness, that is so unfortunate for Luca. Here comes another Astral Barrage. It's going to not knock out the Chi Yu, but it is certainly going to take care of that Iron Hands. And now this Calyrex is starting to snowball, getting a boost to its special attack. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. In the finals of the Regional Championship, a double miss coming out from the Heat Wave. There wasn't a fake out. There wasn't a wide guard. That could have been massive damage into the Calyrex. It could have been a focus sash brought down for the Mean Shell, but no, there's the Mean Shell close combat taking care of that opposing Chi Yu. Now Luca is down to his final two Pokemon and Rillaboom is waiting in the back for Ruben. He's lost the terrain war here. Yes, the grass just disappeared, doesn't matter. Maridon comes in, activates Hadron Engine, and we've said it multiple times. At any point, Rillaboom can just switch in and overwrite that electric terrain once again. So unfortunate for Luca. Where there's a Whimsicott and a Maridon, there could be a way getting that Tailwind boost and making this Maridon act even more speedily, more electrifyingly than usual with that Hadron Engine. But it seems like Luca's decided it's not worth battling it out. Your winner of the Bologna special event, Ruben Gianzini! And it's gonna be Calyrex Shadow